What's going on, y'all? This OG. We vlogging for the day. But I gotta run a few errands. As you can see, your boy gotta take out the trash. So that's what we're about to do. We're about to hop in the roller, Corolla, you know, with no stroller. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go hit that deli at the grocery store. Get my lady an Italian sub. I'm gonna get some, yeah. Some, some fabric sheets and some softener so we can wash some clothes today and we're gonna have another big epic video yeah all right so thank y'all for tuning in i said we start from the bottom till we get to the top yeah We in the we in the Corolla right now. On my way to the Dollar Tree, you know, and I'ma head to the Publix. Like I said, we in the Corolla. About to make my first destination on to the trash can. I like to thank God first. As you can see, it's a Sunday. I see I see the braids, man. I see what I did to the dreads, man. Anyway, thank y'all for tuning in. I like to give a special shout out. To my main man out there in DC, man, in Maryland. Sam, man, salute to you and the family. You know, may God be with y'all. And I'm, I'm just finding out because, you know, I don't be on Facebook like that. But you lost the loved one. You lost your little brother. That was my little brother, Rajay. You know, it hurt my heart, it hurt my soul. This, to, to hear this, you know, to see that on the screen, man, like we ain't supposed to lose people like this, man the gun violence, man I don't know what happened, I don't know what cop, what, what kind of hatred was going on at that particular time, man but it's uncalled for, man y'all took somebody that was loved, man he had kids, man that he was raising like, that's not cool I don't know what y'all doing out there in Maryland, man, but y'all gotta get it together God bless. God first, man. As you guys can see, I don't have a headliner. It came that way. But I think we're going to make this into a project. Either that or it's going to stay that way. Don't matter me. But if I do change the headliner, I got to do it big, man. It can't be ordinary. It can't be just the regular old gray cloth up top. I mean, everybody putting the Rafe stars up there. I don't think I'm going to do that for the Corolla. But I'll probably make it, you know, signature. Woo! I want to give a special shout out to Tall Guy Car Reviews, man. Because without him and his inspiring videos, I don't think this would be possible. I don't think I would really have the motivation to go this far and make vlogs, man. So, yeah, like I say, we start out with the Corolla, wherever it takes us. Just thank God, man. Like I say, we at the Dollar Tree right now. Well, I remember them struggle days, man. Still be feeling like some struggle days. Hit the Dollar Tree, boy, you probably spend like $34, but you gonna get everything you need. For real. Yeah. I know when I go to the regular grocery store, they bust your head for five items. Got my two items. <laughs> I'm out. As you guys can notice, you don't hear no music now because uh, I'm worried about copyright. But because I don't have a radio on my whip, I had to take it out. The radio that came with the car was not working. So I did what I had to do and took that out, man. For real. So this is the really like one of the first vlogs of many vlogs. Like I said, we gonna start from the bottom till we get till we take it to the top, man. For real, we got a long way to go, but we gonna make it there. Also, I have the Instagram. I have two Instagram accounts. I have a media account called Blazers TV. Not just YouTube, but at Blazers TV. Follow me on IG. I that that's really my media. That's really like my media company. Where I promote music, music videos, etc., etc. 
And then I also have my SoundCloud OG account on IG. You know what I do on there. I promote my own music. And I still promote other people, but it's all about OG on there, man. So if y'all could, just follow me on there, man. We're going we gonna to take to the next level. And like I say, buckle up, man. Safety is very important. All right, y'all. For y'all that don't know, like at least in the southern states, Publix is like a major, major grocery store. I didn't know what it was till I moved to Florida. But yeah, we here now. So I'm about to run up in there and get me an Italian sub. If it's somebody in your family or friend or family member, somebody that you haven't spoke to in a while, man, reach out to them, man. Reach out and touch someone, man. Give them a call. See how they doing. Make sure they all right. We got to practice that more, man. I know how to, you know, I got to practice with our priests, man, but it's, it gets it get complicated at times. A lot of people getting tested. All right, got that Italian sub. The public's on special for $5. Can't beat that. All right, thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Like I say, got that sub from Publix, you know what I'm saying, for $5. Can't beat that. Shout out to Publix. I'm gonna go ahead and get a Gatorade. I believe it's the green one. She loves the green one. So we're gonna go get that. I'm gonna go check out right now. Basically, this vlog is just basically running errands. I'm gonna do another vlog a little later on. But like I say, this is an introductory video. I'm just warming up, guys. Stay tuned. Thank you for rocking with OG. Hey guys, and that's pretty much it. I'm leaving Publix right now. I got my whole wheat Italian sub for my wife and me. And the Gatorade, we gonna split that down the middle. I already made my kids mini pancakes, the coconut milk on the side, the drink. And like I said, we're about to hop in the Corolla. Go home. Eat good. Thank God for this food we about to eat. And we about to take it to another level, guys. But thank you for tuning in. Even if you don't feel that much entertained, like I say, it's just the beginning. Tomorrow's another day. Thank you for tuning in. God is good. God is great. Pray before you eat that plate. For all of you that find it hard to quit smoking cigarettes, or whatever it is you do, whatever your addiction might be, for me, I can't, I can't apply this to everyone, but for me, the way I quit, I just realized I had to give something up to get something out of life. You know what I mean? I had to give up a vice in order for me to excel in life. You know, I want to live longer. I have my two kids. I have my, actually, I have four kids. My wife's son, he's 20, 22, 23 years old. I have a two-year-old and a three-year-old. So I have a lot to live for, and I also have a 16-year-old. So in order for me to enjoy the life that they have on this earth, in my life as well, I had to stop doing a lot of things that were toxic to myself and my body. So with that being said, it made it easy for me to quit. I didn't have to, to get no nicotine patches and no nicotine gum. I just did what I had to do. If I wanted to really enjoy life. So I made that conscious decision upon myself to say, you know what? I can do this. It took a while at first, but once I really stopped, I never touched a cigarette again. I don't even like the smell of cigarette smoke or, or, or the aroma of somebody else that has that smoke on them, that, that you know, that scent. It's like, Ugh. you know what I mean? So, I mean, you know, everything is different for everybody else, but... Um,